Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Nino Illusion, your girl Nino Illusion, and I'm back again with another episode of Shop My Closet. In today's episode, we are wearing scarves. I'll be sharing with you between five to six outfits and um, six, five to six different uh, designs of how, of different ways to wear your scarf to match your outfit. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And in case you were wondering, I am wearing the Lady is Queen lip gloss on top of my lips. As you can see, very, very beautiful and flattering. And this is from my brand and we will be launching and uh, our lip glosses will be available pretty, pretty soon for purchase. And I just want to thank you all for your support and patience with me as I continue to create beautiful products for you. And so I'll be also sharing with you this specific um, outfits that I'll be sharing with you again is specifically for rectangular body shapes. I've said over and over that learning your body shape will be the game changer for you in learning how to dress more feminine, classy, and elegantly. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Hey guys, so for our first outfit, I am rocking all purple this is one of my favorite outfits i just love this outfit and as you can see this is specifically a dress suited for a rectangular body shape on the side here as you can see i have some ruchings you call them and this side doesn't so all of it is just gathering on this side just to give me that illusion as you can see of a rectangular body shape just make everything all nice and smooth and this is the back very very flattering a very very beautiful now I'm gonna share with you how to tie on this scarf and so I have this scarf look at how beautiful she is she is just a beauty to behold so we're gonna flip her over and come in like this just a little piece on her we're gonna go on the diamond side shape so this is a square we're going to go rectangle like that and you're gonna hold it and put it over our head like so I'm not in a mirror and then we're just going to gather the two ends. Just gather them like that. Like so. And then just make sure that we have the back. Like this. And now we're going to tie a knot. Just a regular knot not too tight that you cannot breathe so we have one knot pretty confident of that knot and then we're going to tie it up again okay so then now we have this one right here and we have this one so we are going to use this Flip it over like that. We're going to just spread it out a little bit, kind of like a fan. And then we are going to, so we are going to take it from our neck like this and we're going to just toss it to the side because we already have the pitons looking nice and beautiful with that little cleavage. So we're just going to bring her to the side, like that. Very, very beautiful, just like that. And 
and as you can see as i said this is our beautiful beautiful purple so for our next outfit we are going in with green as you can see i am wearing a high-waisted skirt so beautifully it has a little bit of gold detailing to the front and this is a beautiful beautiful shirt and so we are gonna be using this scarf this is a beautiful uh scarf very beautiful so for our design for this outfit we are going to turn it over to the left side this is the right side this is the left and we're going to go down um down the square so we are going to be doing a fan method down the square like so just gathering it all the way down all the way down and now that we have it all gathered up we are going to place her around our neck on the right side so as you can see this is the right side this is the wrong side and we're going to tie a knot but with us tying the knot one has to be longer than the other so like so then we're gonna just do one knot just one knot so with this one knot as you can see and now we are going to just layer it see how beautiful these colors are now we're just going to layer it on top of each other now we're going to turn it a little bit and try and find some of the green and white in there if I can find it just to showcase that we are wearing this scarf with the green and white stripes right here especially for uh, this outfit but as you can tell you see that it has some green in there so we are going to not to tight just to the side Make sure that everything is nice and tucked in from the back. As you see, I'm not in the mirror. I'm doing this <laughs> in the viewfinder of the video of the camera. So yeah, so gonna go like so and then just fan her open like this. Nice and layered, nice and layered like this. She's gonna go on the side, but if you want, you can put her straight forward like this beautiful look at how beautiful she is in the front or to the side so there you have a two in one all with just one knot just layering it so beautiful look at that a nice green outfit again it is a high-waisted skirt gonna show you the back beautiful I have tucked in the shirt as you can see again for a rectangular body shape when it comes to skirts you need high-waisted skirts they are your friend they will help you to give you that illusion that you have a smaller waist and also try to make sure that your skirts are on your knees or just slightly above your knees not down not under your knees or the midway length it will just show that your body's a little bit longer okay so there you have it beautiful so for our third outfit we are rocking a turtleneck and a blue a jean pants and we are using a, this a beautiful a beautiful beautiful blue I just love this color and as you can see again the pants that I'm wearing is blue with a belt again this is a bodycon um, shirt that's the one that clipped between the Garden of Eden I think it's bodycon but that's a, the shirt that clips in between the Garden of Eden okay so this is what we have 
and this is the back as you can see a very very beautiful very very flattering of this outfit can take you anywhere and i'm going to elevate this simple outfit just with this scarf so we again going to take this scarf this is the wrong side and this is the right side so we are going to put the two wrong sided pieces together in a triangle I hope you guys are enjoying learning how to use our shapes. So here you have a triangle. So now we are going to be folding the triangle all the way coming in. So like so, coming in like so, beautiful. So this is a simple way, you guys. This is one of the easiest and fastest way to wear a scarf. Beautiful like this. Look at my arms. I do have workouts on my YouTube channel. So I do have arm workouts, back workouts, full body workouts. Get with the program. Subscribe. And try out my workouts because they do work. So here we have this scarf just like that. Beautiful, right? And we are going to take the tips, the pigtails, and we're just going to make a regular knot. Not really like, just a one knot, okay? We're just gonna pull it up a little. And boom, boom, just like that. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Just like that. And now our whole outfit has been elevated. Just like that. Just with a simple knot on a scarf. Beautiful, isn't she? Here is the back. There you go. Very, very flattering. Again, we are wearing our blue pants, our sky blue pants, and we are wearing a black shirt. This shirt has some angles, as you can see, very beautiful, very flattering. And here is the back. Beautiful. Another way that we are going to style a jeans and a beautiful shirt. All of this cuts very beautiful, brings out all of my cuts in my arms. Very beautiful. And so we are using this gold and black. This is one of my favorite scarves. One of my favorite scarves is this gold and white. So basically, all we're gonna do is that we're going to fold it into a triangle on the right side this time. So this is the right side, this is the left side. Straight down into a triangle. Try to make sure like the edges are matching. Beautiful, they are. So all we're gonna do is gonna take this side, we are going to tie it on the side as a belt, like so. Just like that. Make sure it's matching. And for the side, we are doing a regular knot. We're gonna do one. And we also gonna do another one just to secure it in place because you know when you're walking, it will move. So just another knot. And we are just going to feather it out just to cover up that little knot right there. We are just going to flip it over like so. Beautiful. Now there you have it. Beautiful. The reason why I tie this scarf on my hips is just another way, again, to give that illusion that I have a smaller waist and also because I already have so much going on, so much detailing in the shirt, if I put the scarf on top, it will just be overpowering. Um, so that is a beautiful way to wear the scarf. And here is the back. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. As you can see, 
on the side. A beautiful way to wear a scarf as a belt. And so for our final, final scarf outfit, I am rocking the black dress. Yes, I am wearing the black dress with a nice gold belt. As you can see, giving me that illusion again that I have a smaller waist. And here is the look from the back. And the dress, it hits directly on the knees. And that is something that I really love about this dress. It, it also um, shows off my arms very, very beautifully. Beautiful and flattering. And so, for our black dress, we are using another scarf. Now, beautiful gold scarf with all of those different punches of colors. Oh my gosh, I love this scarf very, very beautifully. So, this is the front and this is the back. So, we're going to do a triangle again, like so. And then we are going to this gather it up. This is a triangle. And we are just going to gather it all up like that. Like that. Beautiful. And now we're going to put her around our neck with all of the gatherings. Okay. And then we're going to tie her in the back just a regular knot in the back if i can get the knot <laughs> yeah so a regular knot like this oh my bra is showing please i apologize the pitons just need to behave a little bit but i do apologize so here you have it we already tied it and so then now we are going to tie it again. If you don't have to tie it, but I just want extra security. We're just going to do one little knot. Like so. And then we're going to pull out the edges. Yeah. And we're just going to tuck in those two ends. Just tuck it in. And now we're going to use the flap. And then just accentuate her beauty just like that she is a beauty to behold isn't she and look at her from the back wonderful wonderful punch of colors it is a wonderful way to add to a beautiful black dress Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today as we explore five outfits and five different ways on how to wear a scarf, especially for a rectangular body shape. Now, I know some of you will ask me in the comment, Nino Illusion Girl, where did you get your scarves? To be honest, I never purchased any of those scarves. Um, some time ago, I helped uh, a friend of mine uh, declutter and so because of that that was my reward she allowed me to choose uh, five different scarves that I wanted out of a collection so it was all given to me <laughs> by a friend so uh, yeah but I'll definitely uh, keep some links to some nice uh, um, scarves uh, down below from uh, Amazon if you would like uh, but you guys there you have it I just want to thank you all for joining me today and don't forget the ladies queen products will be available really really soon for purchase i just want to thank you so much for being patient with me as i continue to strive to make luxury and great quality products for you so until next time you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more content like this until next time bye for now